Okay, so basically we just finished looking at the Auckland system, and now we understand what accounts increase on which side of the T account, whether it be a debit or a credit. Now we're going to connect the dots out of Chapter 2. And so we're going to learn how to analyze a transaction and how to utilize both the journal and the ledger. They work in conjunction with each other. First, we're going to journalize the information from analyzing the transaction, and then we're going to post to the ledger. Journalizing into one book, transferring that information from one book into the other book. Okay. Now, if you look at your textbook, we're going to start on page 77. 77 of the textbook, and we're going to use those transactions to understand how to properly transfer the two. Okay, and so we shall begin. Now, to be exact, I believe that the same transactions that we've done in the previous chapter in terms of understanding how it affects the accounting equation is the exact same transactions that we're going to do in this chapter. Same numbers and everything. So it shouldn't give you any difficulty. So the first transaction is issuing stock. Suppose that we issue stock for $30,000, okay? What are the key words? Follow the rules. First rule, identify the key words. Second rule, from identifying the key words, understand what accounts are affected. Third step, after you know what accounts are affected, understand how they're affected. Are they moving up or are they moving down? After that, journalize. After that, post to the ledger. Those are your five-step rules, and if you follow them logically, it will all make sense, okay? So, suppose that we issue stock for $30,000 cash. First rule, what are the key words? Issue stock, cash, right? So, issue stock for cash, okay? What accounts are affected? Common stock and cash, right? Common stock is a part of what? Stockholders equity. Particularly what section? Paid in capital. And cash is a part of what? Assets. Okay? So which one are we going to debit? And which one are we going to credit? You always have to debit something. You always have to credit. Okay? Common stock. Common stock is a part of stockholders equity. And it's doing what? Is it increasing or is it decreasing? Common stock is increasing. Why? Because we have more common stock out. We issued more common stock, so it's going up. And common stock is a part of stockholders' equity. Stockholders' equity is a part of what group? Clear. Clear. I can maybe put this here for you guys. All clear. Increase debit. Decrease credit. Increase credit. Decrease debit. Common stock is a part of this group, and it increased, so we're going to do what to common stock? We're going to do what to common stock? We're going to, we're going to credit common stock, okay? But we're not going to write it right now because we always put our debits first. We always put our debits first when we journalize it, okay? So this is how you journalize. So let's identify the other account because we know we're not debiting common stock, we're crediting. Cash. We issue common stock for cash. Cash is doing what to the business? Cash is going up. Why? Because we gave common stock for cash. Cash is a what? Asset. Assets are a part of what group? All. So how do we increase assets? We increase assets by a debit on the left side. So how am I going to journalize that? I'm going to debit cash by writing the word cash. And I'm going to credit $30,000. Now some of you guys may be wanting to know, Dr. Holloman, how do I know that I just debit that? Because every time you journalize, your first account is always understood to be the debit. So now that we've debited the account, now it's time to credit the other account. How will we credit the other account? You're going to write indent, just like you would start a paragraph, the account. So what account are we going to credit? Common stock. So I'm going to move over a little bit, just like I would start a paragraph, write the word common stock, and then move over some more and write the number that is affected. 
So now this is proper journalization. Now I've debited cash for 30000 and I've credited common stock for 30000 which should be the exact same thing as your book. Okay? So what I think I'm going to do for simplicity is we're going to continue to journalize. I will show you how to post in the next section. So the next thing that we're going to talk about, next transaction, will be purchase land for cash. Suppose that we purchase land for cash for $20,000. What are the key words? Purchasing land, cash. Land is a what? Asset. Land is also doing what in the business? Land is what? Going up. Why? Because we receive land. Cash is a what? Asset. Cash is also doing what? Going down. Why? Because we paid cash for land. So which one are we going to debit? Land. Because land is an asset. And land is going up. So we debit land. By writing the word land and writing the number 20,000. And we write in debt and credit what? Cash for 20000 Again, all this is going in our journal entry. All right. Um, next. Purchase of office supplies on credit. Purchases, so suppose that we purchase office supplies on account $500. Suppose that we purchase office supplies on account $500. What are the keywords? Purchase office supplies on account. Office supplies are considered to be what? Assets. Office supplies are doing what in the business? Going up. Therefore, we need to what? Debit office supplies. Account. 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 We purchase office supplies on account. Two type of accounts should be jumping in your head when you hear the word account. Accounts payable or accounts receivable. Which one? Accounts payable. Why? Because accounts receivable can never happen when you're purchasing something. Anytime you purchase something and no cash is involved, you do what? You owe. So that's a liability. So that's a accounts payable. So accounts payable is a liability. And what is that liability doing? Is it going up or down since we just purchased something on the account? You know, your new account is doing what? Going up. So we have to credit it. So I'm going to debit which account? Supplies. And I'm going to credit which account. Because why am I debiting supplies? Supplies is an asset and it's increasing by $500. And I'm going to credit accounts payable. Why am I crediting accounts payable? Because accounts payable is a liability and it is increasing as well by $500. I'm going to just go ahead and move this over a little bit. Just because I want to, really. But before it was okay, I just prefer it to be a little more exact. Okay? So next... Suppose that we provided a service and collected cash for $5,500. Provided a service and collected cash for $5,500. Provided a service and collected cash for $5,500. What are the key words? Providing a service, collecting cash. Whenever you provide a service, one account is always created. Providing a service or selling a product always create one account. What account is it? Revenue. So now your revenues should be doing what? Increasing your revenue should be increasing. Revenues are part of which part of the account of the uh, all clear system, the clear group. So, what do we have to do to revenue since they're increasing? Credit it. What are we going to debit? You always debit first. What account did we receive? Cash, cash is a what asset. Assets are doing what, particularly when you receive cash going up. So, which one am I going to debit? The cash, so we debit cash. And credit service revenue for how much? For $5,500. Next. Suppose that this time instead of 
provide a service for cash. Suppose we provide a service on account. What should happen if we provide a service on account? Well, again, keywords, providing a service and account. Anytime you provide a service, anytime you provide a service, uh, you always have to increase revenues. So revenues are always increased. And revenues are part of your clear category. And so we are going to credit revenues. But the other key word was account. And whenever you provide a service on an account, remember, there's only two accounts that can be affected when you see the word account. Accounts receivable and accounts payable. You provided the service, so which one will be increasing? Accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is a what? Asset. So what are we going to do to accounts receivable? Debit. So we're going to debit accounts receivable and credit service revenue for $3,000.